And can I get the bride running towards me? Red. Okay, everyone, let's go. When she plays with the camera, I can get beautiful shots. And once she's comfortable with me, I, I, I get those shots. My idea, my thought, and others as well, to be, uh, to be fair, was to be reactive, to be the quiet observer, uh, the journalist, the person there, to report what we saw, not to improve it, arrange it, stage it, prompt it, fictionalize it, just to capture it at its best. That's it, good, good. Look at each other, look at each other. Come forward, Boris. Julie, pull back a bit, pull back a bit, pull back a bit. That's it now, that's it. Big smile, big smile. Look at, look at Julie. That's a bit more. Now a little run. A little run at Ryan. Okay, got it. Okay, you got it. My main thing with photography, wedding photography, um, is my my passion for shooting by available light. Um, I don't just mean by daylight. I mean the environmental light that's available when you're actually in a particular situation. It's what I find the most challenging part of my particular style. I've acquired some nicknames in the way that I shoot. Ninja, the Terminator, Sniper, um, lovingly so. Hang on. Yeah, it's all good. All right, big guy, turn around. Yeah! Oh, that's so nice. Some people don't take to this kind of imagery, but it's just the people that end up hiring me, this is what they're looking for, something different. I like my couples to play my game. My game is fashion, my game is fun, my game is energetic, my, my game is just go for it, go, go, you know, get the shots out of the couple. Now, of course, some couples make it easier for you, but it doesn't mean that you can wash your hands and say, well, sorry, that was a boring couple. Uh, there's no such thing as a boring couple. I think there's a boring photographer. Have some giggles, girls, cracking up a little bit. That's it, leaning forward, cracking up, beautiful, love that. Very nice. Oh, be a train, be a train, yes. Oh, choo-choo, baby. Keep on going, I'm almost there, keep on going. I first fell in love with um, photography back in, uh, back in the 70s, back in London. So I guess I'm very lucky. A lot of photographers got into photography probably for different reasons. And I, I got into photography because I was really passionate about the image. And um, I guess I still am. Not much point sort of copying the trends and following the trends. You know, you've just got to do something that separates you from the rest. Yeah, that enables me to be able to capture my images and my, that comes through with my photographic style. And over the years now, like, you know, I've learned that it's a, a lot about me, you know, what I bring and my life experiences that have shaped my style. And so now I actually sort of hone in on that. And so that way I can even actually offer my clients even something even more special than, you know, that I was doing even a few years ago. Poppy, let's go, come on. Dance, 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 dance it. Dance it, dance it, dance it, dance it, dance it. Look over there. Beautiful. Turn around, turn around. That's it. Great, 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 great. Perfect. Go for it. Give him the biggest hug and a kiss. And a kiss, and a kiss, and a kiss. That's great, eh? Woohoo! Go, 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 guys. Okay, come on, guys. Let's I do this every Saturday. I make noise, I pretend we're models and fashion shoot. And they all gather and I put excitement into the thing. The bride and groom cooperate because they're being watched. And it's fun, it's all fun. I love photography, always have. Uh, it's, uh, it's the only thing that I do well, I think. I'm a people photographer. I photograph them formally or casually, photojournalistically, any of those things, whatever it takes to get that person's personality or what they require, they are the customer. I love the idea that 
people are like developing their own little personal styles and not really spending a lot of time um, going, I, I want to be like everybody else, or I want to be like Joe Busink, or I want to be like somebody else, you know? They, um, they say, I want to be like myself and, and forget everybody else. And, and instead of going, um, and I like this, uh, this idea that we're not out there to specifically please the bride and groom. We're out there to please ourselves. And then the bride and the groom go, I love what you do. And through that, you're pleasing them, you're pleasing yourself, everybody's happy, everybody's good.